pack on my back, my rifle on my shoulder. I'll march away to the firing line. Kill that Yankee soldier. Right guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be playing some of the Born in the Fire America mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. So what I've done is I've put together this map really quickly tonight because I've also been working on some uh, Shogun mod for you all. So I've, re I've been in really the, uh, the musket mood lately. So we're going to be playing a bit of an American Civil War scenario. It's not going to be any uh, battle in particular, but it's just going to be like a skirmish battle. So what I've done is I've set up multiple companies of men on both the uh, Union and the Confederate side. And you are going to have to excuse the lag because we have got a lot of troops on the screen. But trust me, I've played this battle out already and it makes no difference really. The battle is still super epic to watch. And I'm going to be mainly watching the uh, AI play this battle out. And because I'm not, I don't know who's going to win. So there's not really many scripts on it. There's uh, not, not many at all. So it's just practically just a line battle. So you've got the Confederates on this side. A couple of cannon emplacements. You have their general over there. And we have... Uh, Around, I think it's around 85 men in each company, so one, two, three, four. Uh, four companies over here, and we're going up against one, two, three, four, five. Five companies over here. But we are, we are going to have some Union Reserves, because I think there's a few more men in these companies than there is in these ones. You see, I think there's, a, there's only about 70-odd men in these companies. Something like, maybe maybe less. Mind you, they all vary. But yeah, it is quite laggy, so I'm just going to go ahead and press Start. And we're going to watch the battle. The lag will die down after a few minutes, so let's watch the epicness. So the battle instantly kicks off. Oh, look at that. I love how they stay in the line. It's so cool. So I have done a bit of configuring with the settings on this, because this is no longer the Born in the Fire America mod, really. This is like, it's the same mod. So I'm giving all credit to the modders, but I've took the whole mod and I've moved it over to the Shogun mod. And I've uh, I've had a bit of a fiddle round with the ranges of the weapons, and also I'm trying to up the priority of the melee. So hopefully they'll they'll have more chance of attacking each other when they're closer to each other. Look at this. So like I say, the lag will die down eventually, guys. But we have got a lot of units on the screen. Let's pretend it's slow motion. Look at that. So I have no idea who's going to win this one. A little uh, cannon hole there, look. A little foxhole. I think the only controlling that I am going to do is turn them off, uh, move it well. Whoa! It's blown to pieces. So bits of Lego. There's a head down there, look. And we see that head there, look. So cool. So obviously this Confederate regiment here, this is it just kind of like it went ahead of all the other companies. And uh yeah, a bit of a scout company. They couldn't see through this uh, cornfield right here, you see. But you know, they got hit first and they've been hit pretty hard. But they have dealt quite the heavy blow to this uh Union uh, company right here, look. I love how they're staying in line formation, it's pretty cool. Oh got a cannonball. Slow motion. Again, we'll just blow someone else to pieces. Let's have a look on the uh, right flank. So this company right here, uh, this one is on move at will, so this one will advance just a tiny bit more than the others. Pretty cool looking. And I think the same with this company over here. So we're going to be slowly moving up through the corn, along with that one over there. So like I say, this could be anybody's game. I have no idea who the winner is going to be. Oh, we've got a cannonball coming. Oh, again. That company at the front has just got annihilated. Still quite a few of them left, though, surprisingly. So, like I say, guys, the download link for this map is in the description. If you're to play. But you will need the Born in the Fire America mod. I figured, you know, it's, it's I didn't spend too much time on this map, but uh, it's quite realistic if you want to play big battles like these. Obviously, you've got to probably place a few less troops, as there's a lot of lag on this. I think we'll try and do a bit of a charge at the end as well. Try and get a bit of a mix-up. be pretty cool. Oh, so the uh, Confederates are moving up. 
Now they're moving up just like a few steps at a time through the cornfield. And we can barely see them actually. As you can see the lag is dying down a lot as well. So the Confederates do have a few more men in their uh, in their battalions over here, their little uh, their little companies. Whereas these guys, the Union, they had just just a few less men. That guy with the flag. No fucks were given this day. So this cannon right here is completely exposed, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move some of these guys over here and try and just deploy them behind the hill. Oh, wrong side. Oh, press that one. There we go. Just lost the uh, flag bearer, I think. So I'm just going to deploy these behind this hill over here. Try and protect the cannon. Because you can see the uh, Confederates are making a huge attack through this cornfield right in front of us. Look how cool that looks. I really want to stop playing more of this mod. It's really cool. But like I said, this is the Born in the Fire America mod. But I'm going to be using it for the uh, Shogun mod. So doing a complete revamp of it. Adding new assets. And uh, trying to create the fall of the Shogun. Just like in Shogun Total War. Get as many of these guys as I can. Bring that line forward a little bit. Match it with that company over there. A look from the uh, the Confederates' perspective. Really good mix of infantry. I think we've near enough lost all the lag now. Still a bit of it, but it didn't last long, did it? So let's do a bit of a slow move up through the line. The uh, Confederates using the fence there for cover. Doing quite a good job as well. Uh, the Union uh, company right here, they seem to have uh, made, made themselves into a loose formation, which is a good tactic. Still not working very well though, still some of them dying. And then you've got the uh, reserve company at the back, just waiting for them to come down the hill. Very smart tactic. And then back here we should have our... Uh oh, where's he gone? The General's done a runner. We did have a general, but he seems to have run off somewhere. Let's see if I can find him. But the general's gone. I think the general's... He must have fought, uh, fell back or something towards his, uh, his other army, because this would just be a fraction of the, of the general's army, you see. Maybe he's gone to get the uh, other reserves. Try and get this uh, cannon back in action right here. You two, get the cannon. There we go. So this cannon's held off these Confederates really quite well. I think they're, they're switched to a shrapnel round. Can't get my words out properly. Just look at the amount of dead bodies. That's insane. And we still have a lot of. Uh, Confederate regiments back here as well. Did I say regiments? Companies. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off the move at will. Just so we can let the AI do some of the uh, work. So same with you. Same with you. Yeah. Be free. So it's up to the AI whether we, they retreat or advance now. Like that. There we go. Same with this corner right here. Oh, they're good. There we go. Now let's advance this company right here. Let's move these up behind the fence if we can. There we go. Really push them back. I'm not going to try and favour any team. So I will be doing a bit of controlling of both teams, but not too much. I'll leave it to the AI mostly. So 
cannon still in action? I think it is. But it's just reloading, I think. Alright, take your shot. What he's doing. I, re I really love these, uh, the range of these rifles now. Like I said, I've done a bit of adjusting with the rifles, and now they can shoot from back here. So I think that's just a tad more realistic. Yeah, they're, very, they're a lot less accurate, but their uh, their range is a lot higher. So they react in a bigger zone now. Which is pretty cool. We have another company of men there. We have uh, three men moving up, forward, up, up at the front right there, so like three scouts. We have not many men up here now. No, not many men at all. So I think what we'll do is... Let's bring this uh, company of soldiers here, these confederates. And we're going to deploy them behind this fence set just here. There's a lot of men there, isn't there? So you use the fence for cover. Oh, not you. Get there, behind that side. There we go. Use the fence. Oh, maybe not. The AI seemed to be wanting to do something else. Never mind, we'll leave them to it. But what we'll do is we're going to take half of this company over here, of these Union Infantry. These riflemen here. And we're just going to turn them off uh, move at will. Turn it on, should I say. There we go. So what's wrong with tonight? Can't get my words out properly. Same there. Got a nice reserve company. I have got the option here as well to charge uh, all of my soldiers. But I'm not going to do that until the end. Otherwise it gets far too laggy, you see. Bring some of these guys forward, use this fence. There we go, bit of action now. Just activating the AI, look. So cool. There we go, leave him to it now. So have a bit, look, bit of a look on the left flank. My men seem to be holding them in the cornfield. So the uh, Confederates did make quite the advance outside the cornfield, but they uh, didn't make it too far. They got held off by this artillery, artillery over here. You guys would have to let me know in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this, like just straight up battles. You know, maybe we can throw like a story with it, or throw a campaign map. Both companies here seem to be advancing on each other slowly, just a few steps at a time. Taking some hits from the uh, Union artillery right there. Should we have a look at some names? So look, look at some names. So we've got Nathaniel Morris, who's just died, unfortunately. Harry Simmons. And they're not going to last long at the front, are they? We've got a uh, Crank Crank Case Adam. What a name. We have Jaden Spencer. We still have another Confederate company over there, just waiting for their orders. But we're just going to leave them behind at the minute. Because the Union seems to be getting quite the foothold in the centre. So, let's have a look at the Union infantry. So, over here we have Bob Allen. Private Bob Allen. Neville Braz. Asiah Doyle. Ed Patterson. And Adrian Anderson. So they're doing very well, boys. Keep it up. Let's go back into cinematic mode. Leave them to it. Very cool looking. Something else I will be figuring. Oh god, having a bit of a fiddle around with will be the FX. I'm going to try and get this smoke here to stay in the air just a tiny little bit longer. Oh, the cannons are still in action. What a battle. Such a cool, cool mod this is. Move these men forward. 
want to move them too far forward. I'll let the uh, AI do it. Gathering a lot of troops in the center. Some of these guys do not lie down. It's against the uh, the traditions, really, isn't it? You're going to stand up like brave men. Oh, come on. Some of you, follow your comrades. There we go, beautiful. Still getting some uh, barrages from this uh, company at the back. Like I say, they're very inaccurate from that range, so they're not going to be very effective at all. We're running very low on men. I might have to do a little bit of control on here just to regroup the regiments, regroup the battalions this way. So this is just a mashup of all the different companies making a, a new company. Take him out. Right, take aim. Fire. Fire. Got a captain leading the way over there, look. Oh no, it's a medic. We have a medic. That one there is a captain, I think. So two medics and a captain moving up. We're going to support the captain with some infantry. That revolver's so cool. Do you know who they're shooting at? They're using the... Uh... Oh, cannonball inbound. Oh, that was a close one. Very close one. Bring these forward. Use the fence as cover. Hey, here comes our, res our reserves. That's what we need, really. Let's uh, charge them in. Come on, boys, this way. Turn them off, uh, move it well. So now it'll just be uh, company on company. So we've got two companies of uh, Union infantry coming through now. I'm going to send a company up, up to the, uh, the front line to try and take them on air on. So I'm not really going to do much direct control, I'm just going to send them in the right direction. Okay, like that. Then what we'll do is we'll leave a company behind as well. There we go, it's about a company worth of men, about 80 men. I think a company is about 80 to 150 men, isn't it? Something like that. Using the uh, fence for cover. Oh, a direct hit right there from that uh, cannon. Quite the battle, this. Some uh, Confederate infantry right here. They're not engaging my uh, Union on the left flank. I think they're keeping an eye on the centre, making sure we don't advance. Quite the smart thing to do, really. Discipline of the troops. And they have got good cover from the uh, cornfield as well. Right, move up our troops again. Try and flank on that cannon right there. And we'll take some control of this company now as well. Let's move them off, move it well. Let the AI uh, control it. There we go. Fire it well, boys. These are wanting to hold position at the minute and they're just going to keep barraging the line right there. Stopping the Union infantry from advancing. Oh, another cannon shot. Oh, nearly hit him. Going to have to remove the uh, reserve company now, I think. Let's move them up. I think we're going to advance this time on the centre. See if we can get some support through the cornfield. Again, we're going to turn off the uh, move at will. So 
and we'll do a we'll do a final charge in a minute, just to uh, sum the battle up. Because so I'm I'm guessing they'll be quite low on ammo now, for both sides. There we go. So let's do it. Let's charge on three. Charge. One, two, three. Boom. There we go. So here we go. We've got a full charge going into the center now. Trumpets are playing. Let's do this. Literally all of what's left of the Uni infantry. All focusing on the right flank now where the opening is. And we've got all of the uh, Confederates as well moving forward. But there's a lot less Confederates left than what we thought. Exchanging fire still though. Charging into the centre. I think we have a tiny bit of melee combat in the centre. Yep, right there, look. Beautiful. They're all dancing in the middle out of uh, joy, look. They're like, yay! Let's have a little look at the uh, this spot here. Oh, the Union have took the centre as well through the cornfield. But maybe that was because of the final charge. So now we've just got to take out their two, uh, their two leaders over here, the general and the lieutenant. And to do that, we just need to move them over here. They don't seem to want to move, they want to remain in the middle. Third place to them, we've got enough troops anyway. Right, let's just take this, this guy out over here. I think we've got another cannon to take out over here as well. So what I'll do is I'll split these in half, and we'll get them guys on there, and we'll get these guys on here. Let's watch the last stand of these two generals, if you can really call it one. No, nope. instantly killed. So I think we can call that a victory, really, for the, uh, the Union infantry. Hurrah for the Union. <laughs> Look at them. Terrible. But yeah, anyway, if you want to see more like this... Um, do hit that like button and do hit that subscribe button. I mean, next time we can may maybe play as the uh, Confederates and uh, p play a different sort of scenery, maybe a, f a siege or a fort or, you know, we could do something in the desert, something with cowboys and Indians. Uh, do let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next one.